But the B9 platform, when do we really need to forge the crank and put in pistons and rods and cams and a head stud kit to what certain horsepower will be safe? Well, there's no simple answer to this. Um, however, I think if the, the, the best thing I could say is if you'd like to stay within what, what we feel are the stock um, engine uh, margin of safety, so take a stock engine, put a TTE 810 or similar on it. Our stage three standard output file is the file that we would, we would recommend to be uh, completely safe and well within the margin of safety. With that said, we offer a high output file. And if you have a, a verified well running car with good injectors and good ignition components, um, we have many customers running our high output file on the street uh, with a TTE 810 or similar and on E85 with a completely stock block. Um, however, the margin of safety is reduced with that setup and you are closer to the edge. So is it still safe? Yes, it's just not as safe. And so what we see on, for example, cars that are driven on track or driven hard on the street is that they'll start lifting the heads, which means they need head studs. Um, and then in, in very rare cases, we see the, the piston failure where the, with the piston cracking and causing a catastrophic failure of the piston. So we don't see that nearly as much or at all on the standard output files. And so those are within the margin of safety. I think once we get to the point where, uh, and, and by the way, you don't have to mess with the crank, um, but like if you go just look at our engine build package on our website with, with the forged powder rods, forged pistons, and uh, head studs and the supporting parts, that's a, a solid, reliable setup for stage three high output. Because you eliminate the head lifting issue, you el eliminate the factory piston failure issue. So yeah. if, if you want to have a solid, reliable setup and not have to worry about it, the standard output file is still insanely fast, very powerful. Um, I've driven it extensively on the street and track. It's it's not going to be a slouch, but you do give up, you know, about seventy five horsepower from the high output file. But that that extra seventy five horsepower buys you a lot of safety, margin of safety. Mm -hmm. I've I've done long uh, descriptions of kind of the margin of safety and getting closer to the edge. Uh, usually used to like to use a bungee jumping example. If you're bungee jumping, they can make it so that your head gets one foot from the ground, or they can make it so your head gets 50 feet from the ground. They're both safe. Your head's not going to hit the ground. But if anything's wrong with the one foot, your head's going to smash into the ground. And so if you don't want to have to worry about it at all, and even if something goes wrong, your head instead of being 50 feet from the ground is now 20 feet from the ground, you're still within the margin of safety. So that safety net buys you a lot of safety. You don't need the safety net, but if you want a bigger safety net, the standard output's for you.